in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Hallelujah. You are the living word. You are the living logos, the living word of God. The word that sets free, the word that delivers, the word that lifts, the word that restores, the word that heals, the word that prospers. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. You are the living word. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me, living the presence of the Holy Spirit in me. The one who programs us for victory. And you are my daily bread. You are my daily bread. The word of God you are that lives and abides inside of us. You are my daily bread. Your that very word spoken. Spoken. The rhema of God spoken to your spirit. said as the deer pants for the water brook says so my soul longs after you in a dry weary land lord we desire you we're not pretending it tonight we're not just doing church lord we're a group of hungry people we desire you we desire you thank you holy spirit for your presence you're the power of the highest resident inside of us the spirit of adoption that has made us sons heirs with god and joint heirs with christ the bible says now are we the sons of god and it does not yet appear go ahead and in the spirit celebrate your heritage in christ we are the victorious ones we are not weak and beggarly the spirit of God I'm lives in us. We are born of the incorruptible seed of the word of God. We are the Savior of our eyes from Zion. I'm lost we are the deliverance. Lord, we bless you. You are faithful. Saka parianda gaprada gelebos. Ratapaya. The activity of your spirit.
inside of us inside of us the energy of the spirit building us aligning our minds you are that great light you are that great star directing us to the place of destiny Lord we bless your name hallelujah I tell you friends we are not the weak ones are you listening to me we have a heritage in Christ it's important you realize it we have a heritage it was given to us in Christ we are partakers we are children of Abraham partakers of the promise Galatians chapter 3 verse 29 says and if ye be in Christ then are ye Abraham's seed joint heirs partakers of the promise we are not the weak ones we are not the beggarly ones I'm telling you, Obadiah 21 says, Saviors shall arise out of Zion. We are the saviors that will arise out of Zion. And God is building us. God is equipping us. Training us by the power of his word. We are the saviors that will arise. We are the saviors that will arise. I'm telling you this. We are the ones who will bring creation to the obedience of Christ. The Bible says that we do not yet see all things under his feet, but we see Jesus. The captain of this great army. Like an infernal of fire we are moving. The Bible says in Joel 22, speaking about this army. He said, before them is as a garden of Eden. Behind them a desolate wilderness. He said, none of them shall break his rank. Christ himself being the captain of this army. And God is preparing us because he's going to be releasing us to different areas and systems. And by the power of his spirit, we are sure that we will not disappoint him. Hallelujah. We are absolutely sure. Yahweh. Yahweh. You are bigger than what people say. Yahweh. Yahweh, the captain of this army, Yahweh, you are bigger than what people say, that will be the testimony of our generation, they will praise our God, Yahweh, the of righteousness, Yahweh, Across the system, Yahweh, 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 you will be God. Hallelujah. He's bigger, bigger than our challenges, bigger than every limitation bigger than our mindset and that's why he's building us causing us to realign our mind so that it will be in our life the bible says to pray that it be done in the earth as it is done in the heavens so god is bringing us to that point where we are not ignorant of his ways the bible says he showed israel his acts but for moses he showed his ways his principles Lord, we thank you for your spirit. Yahweh, Yahweh, we worship you. We I worship you. I worship you. Yahweh, Yahweh, we worship you. We worship you. Yahweh, Yahweh, we worship you. 
in one minute worship him for the victory Yahweh Yahweh oh we I are the strong you. we are the mighty I Daniel 11 32 they that know their God they shall be strong they shall do exploit Yahweh, Yahweh. they that know their God they, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Yahweh, 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 we worship you. Yahweh, Yahweh, we worship you. Yahweh, Yahweh, we worship you. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. We worship you. We worship you. Because you live. Jesus, I live. I have no fear. I have no fear. Come on, prophesy, champions. The great ones. We have no fear. Because you live. Because you live. Jesus, I live. Holy Ghost, by the, the ministry of the Word of God, 
Hallelujah. Starting tonight, reminding ourselves we're not just joking and feeling like Christians. I don't know about you, but I'm so confident of my future. I am absolutely confident. You know why? Because I am hidden in Christ and Christ in God. There's no room to fail. No provision whatsoever. I understand in the spirit that it is the character of the kingdom to look beyond the things that I see now. So even if as it were, all things has not come yet under the feet of the servants of God and the saints of light. I realize that according to scripture, 2 Corinthians from verse 4, it says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal say after me temporal subject to change but the things that are unseen are eternal my bible tells me that if the cloud be full of rain they will empty themselves many of us are making spiritual investments it may not look like it now how be it is an investment in the spirit because God cannot lie. Bible says he looked for one who was greater. So that he would swear by. And not finding anyone he swore by himself. That by these two immutable things. It is impossible for God to lie. And on this I rest my case. I am a success. I am victorious in this life. I will leave a mark in the sands of time. I will let the world know that Jesus is alive. And we will end the controversy about the Lordship of Christ once and for all. So Father, we give you thanks for an opportunity again. Thank you. Thank you for the spirit of this season. Celebrating the gift of Jesus in our lives. We thank you for the blessings of the Lord. And our hearts are open tonight, dear Spirit of God. Breathe upon us by the power of your Spirit. Search the deep things of God and cause that there be a communication of the spirit in our hearts in the name of the lord jesus christ let the wisdom of the spirit let the way of god be communicated unto us take off the veil from our eyes and cause us to see from your plane position our spirits for victory in the name of jesus for indeed saviors shall arise out of zion and lord we brace up and we prepare tonight even as we search through the parts of the ancient to find out the things that you showed our fathers that caused them to walk in realms of increase and abundance i pray thou spirit of wisdom and revelation let the bread of the spirit be broken cause that our eyes will see and let our ears hear the sound of the spirit we incline our hearts to obey your word in the blessed name of jesus i pray Amen. Just walk up to 10 people say I'm victorious in this life. Say it like you believe it. Is that how you will behave when the Lord brings the blessing fully? Come on, act like it. Act like it.
hallelujah please be seated god bless you hallelujah all right bring out your pen your jotters and let's just go the word of god thank you lord jesus hallelujah I love being in the presence of God because there's no room for doubt and fear. Your limitations just melt away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible lets us understand we are not alone upon Mount Zion. It says there are innumerable company of angels, there are media people, technical people upon Mount Zion.
Bible says they heard the word like we did, but the word did not profit them. prosper and be in what health even as thy soul prospers hallelujah what's the prosperity of the soul the prosperity of the soul is the renewal of the mind where you come into conformity to the fullness of the image the character the statue of Christ that's what the Bible calls the prosperity of the soul the Bible says in first Peter chapter 1 verse 9 receiving the end of your faith even the salvation of your soul hallelujah so the prosperity of the soul is coming to a point where the word of god is so engrafted in you hallelujah colossians 3 16 says let the word of christ dwell in you richly let the word of christ dwell let it dwell in you richly so the prosperity of the soul is to come to that point you know you are prospering in your soul when the word of god becomes your priority the word of god becomes your investment hallelujah you are growing spiritually let me tell you something spiritual growth is not just how many hours you pray in tongues i hope you realize you measure your spiritual growth by how much you are conforming to the nature and the ways of god the bible says that as we behold as in a mirror we are what changed changed we are transformed so if by january till now you can trace a notable transformation that you now understand the ways of God you understand the kingdom of God and the system of this kingdom you understand the nature of your king you understand the revelation the promises the blessings and the responsibility that comes in this kingdom and that you can relate intimately with the spirit of God who is the governor of this kingdom then you can say you are growing hallelujah Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. The Lord wants us to be in health. Sickness cannot be from God. Are you listening to me? It doesn't matter what kind of theology is built around it. The Bible says it clearly here. And the Bible calls the word of God a more sure word of prophecy. It says that you be in health is the desire of God for you. It's God's desire that we come to a point where we live long and strong, vibrant. You see a young person at age 30, you're looking as if you're 60. That's not the will of God. That's the reason why there is the ministry of the Spirit called the quickening ability of the Spirit. It's that same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body. He said that same Spirit will quicken, revitalize, make alive. Bible records of Joshua that even in his old age he was strong hallelujah so it's God's desire that you live in health and then it's God's desire that you prosper financially it's not God's desire for you to move left right and center it's not God's desire that we begin to come and bow to men again and again begging them give me money give me this and then the world gives us their terms they force us to compromise the known principles of God 
because they are going to give us money but things are changing God is teaching us his ways teaching us his principles we are going to shock our generation because they will see us coming from another plane that is not common we are using the principles of the kingdom no bribery no corruption no godfatherism we only have one king one lord one faith one baptism but we will so excel and then we will show the superiority the bible says how that we have been we are god's workmanship created in christ jesus there is a display that god wants to use us to present before the world to let them know that he is king hallelujah tonight i'll be sharing on the power to get wealth deuteronomy 28 i pray that you will take this revelation very seriously deuteronomy thank you lord let your word come strong in our spirits hallelujah deuteronomy chapter 8 now moses was coming towards the end of his life and he stayed with the nation of israel god's covenant people i hope you realize that god enacted a covenant with abraham according to genesis chapter 12 the bible makes us to understand that god called abraham out of the land of Or, the chaldeans and called him and then told him certain blessings that will happen to him i will bless you i will make your name great hallelujah the prosperity of the believer starts from abraham hallelujah praise god and god enacted a covenant with abraham and among that covenant he said how that he was going to give him land that he was going to possess the earth hallelujah and he swore a blessing to his kings and his seed the seed after him you find that in genesis 17 the blessings of abraham is not found in genesis 12. genesis 12 is the prophecy of the blessing the, the blessing is genesis 17. hallelujah it gives us a description of the prophetic blessings and the interesting thing is that part of the blessing that was given abraham is that his seeds will prove that god did not fail in that covenant hallelujah and so God promised Abraham that he was going to use his seed to validate that he is a covenant-keeping God. By the way, talking about covenant, um, let me just share something very quickly. I have, um, there is a balance and an understanding we must have over the concept of covenant. Very briefly, let me just touch on that issue. A covenant is an agreement between two or more people. Hallelujah. Uh, that benefits both of them mutually an agreement between two people usually a covenant in its typical sense carries consequences in an event where one of the parties violate the terms of the covenant are you following me now and so a covenant is an agreement between two or more people that they will benefit mutually towards a cause and then in an event where any of the party violates the terms of the covenant the other party is not held liable again to accomplish his own part are you following me now and then there are severe consequences hallelujah and so the concept of covenant for the new creation believer must be understood in light of god's word because our knowledge of covenant if not balanced will not help us to walk in the reality of sonship praise god so on one side we have people who are always thinking of covenant in terms of god i will do this for you and then you will do this for me how many of you have heard christians do say that lord i will only serve you if you will do this so our being covenant conscious there must be a balance are you following me so that you don't meet god and say lord i will only serve you if you will do this for me. hallelujah and say lord i'm giving you two weeks to give a deposit of your first proof that you are interested in this covenant and after two weeks you don't see anything you say lord that's your business i'm not doing again you must come to a point where you love him above and beyond anything if god never blesses me again i cannot leave him are you listening to me and that's the balance because you see the thing about a covenant if we 
if we look at ourselves as being in a covenant with God in the strict sense, we are liars. Because in a covenant, there's no mercy. I hope you know that. In the strict sense of a covenant, there's no mercy. Come on, ask those in court. Those of you who have joined court before, they tell you that the only way out is what? Death. But how many times have we violated the laws and the principles of God? How many times have we been punished for it? The Bible says his mercies are new every morning. So yes, we are in covenant with God because the nature of the kingdom is that there is partnership between the king and the citizens. Are you following me now? That for every blessing that God gives us, we have a role to play. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 It shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I commanded this day that the Lord will set thee. So there is a condition. Are you following me now? There is a condition for the blessing. In that sense we are in a covenant. So that if you do not hearken to the voice of the Lord and you are not diligent to obey his ways, you are not entitled to his blessings. But there are many things that God will do to us, not on account of our obedience and faithfulness, but on account of his mercy, his sovereignty and his fatherhood. Are you following me now? I'll give you one more proof. The Bible makes us to understand a parable in scripture, how that there were certain workers in a vineyard. Hallelujah. And the Bible makes us to understand that in the morning, the husbandman was moving and he saw a few people and he made an agreement, another word, a covenant with them for a denary. Are you following me now? That at the end of the day, he was going to pay them a denary. Is that correct? The Bible says the people got to work. So they, they were not working because they loved the husbandman. They were working because they were conscious of their pay. Are you following me now? The Bible says as the day um, proceeded he met some other people and he said why are you people idle they say no one will employ us he said come and walk they didn't make agreement are you following me up till the 11th hour the bible says he saw some other people and he called them they worked for only one hour but they worked for that one hour not expecting anything they worked for that one hour loving the husband man so if you had told them thank you god bless you they would just go are you following me now now watch this when it came to the reward he started with those who came to the farm because they were looking for are you following me now and then he gave them the denary that they agreed upon then the ones who said i will work for you not expecting anything i love you pay me by yourself he said now let me pay you because you did not give me any condition and he paid a man who worked in one hour the same salary that he gave a man who started in the morning and the, the other man was angry he said what kind of thing is this and then the husband man said is it unfair i mean we agreed with you many of us do not realize that when we when we just come to god simply because of the things we get from him we limit the potentials of god to bless us hallelujah when god pays you i tell you something god's pay on your life for one day will cover your expenses for a lifetime hallelujah that's why you see people in church the moment they come into church they are saying ah i'm working i'm serious they should be paying me you see that happen all over abuja people can say i'm not doing again no they must pay me and then this church says, okay thirty thousand and the other one said no no no, hundred and so they start bidding let me tell you something as nice as that is such kind of people of course there is a level of commitment where it becomes a job and you have to pay because of the time but when you just start serving God and you're saying money, 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 you will get what you are asking for, but you will never get more. Hallelujah. Because in a covenant, you do exactly as you have agreed. You don't do more. But in a love relationship, you are permitted to do more. In fact, that's what makes it a love relationship. I told God something. I said, Lord, I'm not serving you because of the blessings you give me. If you never give me any blessing in this life, I cannot stop serving you. Hallelujah. It's amazing how many people are pursuing God because of certain things. You will know when they do not get it. Everybody just retreats and says, I've tried. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 8. Thank you, Lord. This was ad admonition by 
Moses to the people. Are you there? Let's start from um, verse 5. And thou shalt consider in thy heart that as a man chasteneth his sons, so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks of water and fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey. Listen, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. Thou shalt not lack anything in it. A land whose stones are iron and out of whose hills thou mayest dig bronze. When thou hast eaten and thou art full. Listen. He said, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he had given thee. Beware, verse 11, that thou forget not the Lord thy God. How do you forget the Lord thy God? In not keeping his commandments and his ordinances and his statutes which I command thee this day. Verse 12. Lest when thou hast eaten and art full, typical of rich people, and hast built goodly houses and dwell therein, and when thy herds and thy flocks multiply, and thy silver and thy gold are multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied. 14. Then thy heart shall be lifted up, and thou shalt what? Forget the Lord thy God who brought forth, who brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness wherein there were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought, where there was no water, who brought thee water out of the rock of flint. 16. Who fed thee in the wilderness with manna which thy fathers knew not, that he may humble thee and that he may test thee to do thee good at thy later end. 17. And thou shalt say in thy heart, what? My power and my might has gotten me this wealth. 18, let's read together. One to read. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he who giveth thee power to get wealth. That he may establish his covenant which he swore to thy fathers as it is this day. He said, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Now this was Moses speaking to them. They were on their way and he knew that it was inevitable. They were going to the land flowing with milk and honey. And so Moses was admonishing them. He was saying when you get to that place, because of the grace that has come upon you, Israel, you are going to be prosperous. You are going to build houses. Your cattle will multiply. There is an ability of God that is upon you that will cause you to flourish and prosper. He said, but let it not be that when you have enjoyed all of these things, you say to yourself, my power and my might has gotten me this wealth. Hallelujah. The word power in the Hebrew is koach. K-O-A-C-H. It means a force, an ability, an energy that propels you to accomplish something. So when the Bible says the power to get wealth is an anointing, it's an ability of the spirit that causes you to flourish. The mission of the power to get wealth is to make your life become the garden of Eden. Hallelujah. And so when the power to prosper is upon you, then all of these scriptures that whatever you lay your hands to do will prosper. That the wealth of the wicked will find themselves to your place. And all of those prophetic blessings, they will only be a reality when you have the power to get wealth. I need you to understand that wealth is spiritual. Say after me, wealth is spiritual. So many people do not understand the spiritual dimension of wealth and prosperity. Herbalists know it politicians know it hallelujah when you see someone suddenly get rich what will you say your first suspicion is that this person has gone to a native doctor so we realize that wealth is spiritual if we miss out on the understanding that the wealth of a believer has a spiritual root we will never truly prosper god's way 
there is no wealthy person today who will tell you that he does not have a spiritual connection to his wealth be it god be it freemason be it satan directly i follow me now that's why when you begin to rise in wealth and prosperity you get to a point where they begin to initiate you into all kinds of clubs and societies and then you have to remain in those societies if you are to enjoy abundance and so the bible tells us that for the believer there is something called the power to prosper the ability the anointing of the spirit that makes men prosperous listen if you don't have that power to prosper all of these laws we have taught you will struggle whether in business whether in life you will suffer you will struggle the bible says except the lord builds the house the builders build in vain except the lord watches over the city the watchmen watch in vain the bible says it is vain to rise up in the morning to sleep late at night what's the reward only to eat the bread of sorrow he said but he giveth his beloved sleep hallelujah and so you must realize that there is a spiritual dimension to prosperity there is an ability that god gives you that causes you to prosper that was the power that came upon our father abraham as a result of the covenant that god enacted with him and then it caused abraham to flourish let's see genesis 24 quickly thank you lord jesus ah, yeah. Genesis 24, are you there? And Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And the Lord had blessed Abraham in how many things? In how many things? Is that in your Bible? And Abraham said to his eldest servant on his house that ruled over all that he had, put, I pray thee, thy hand under my thigh, was a Jewish way of swearing. And I will make thee swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of the earth, that thou shalt not take a wife unto thy son, this and that and that. And then, um, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's look at verse. Uh, verse 8. Or verse 10, verse 10. And the servant took 10 camels look at what he took just to go and look for a wife and tell me whether that does not look like a prosperous man 10 camels and departed for all the goods of his master in his hand and he arose and went to mesopotamia and the city of nahum and um where do we have again i want you to see all the the provisions that abraham had okay verse 21 and the man wandering at her held his peace to learn whether the lord had made his journey prosperous or not listen and it came to pass as the camels had finished drinking that the man took what kind of ring a golden ring and half a shekel weight and two bracelets for her wrist and ten shekel weights of gold look at that that is that's a provision that they sent him with just to go and look for a wife that's how wealthy and blessed abraham abraham was the bible makes us to understand that he was so prosperous are you following me now why because there was an ability upon him i hope you know that he had none of these things when he was an idol worshiper from genesis 12. the same power was upon isaac the ability to produce wealth and the bible says when it was time for isaac to release that blessing to his sons he said jacob esau make me venison that i will eat and that my soul will be delighted and i will speak the blessing because he was about to release that power to prosper and then by some act of uh, being crafty jacob received that blessing question did abraham give i mean did, did isaac give jacob naira and kobo did he give him naira and kobo he didn't give him anything but he left upon him the power to prosper and the bible makes us to understand that a few years later jacob came that power followed him to laban's house are you following me when he stepped into laban's house suddenly things began to work laban had this to say he said i i come to terms with the fact that the lord has prospered me for thy sake hallelujah 
when he began to turn Laban's animals, that power to prosper caused the animals to increase and multiply. Are you following me now? A time came Jacob had wives, had cattle, had all of these things. Who gave it to him? The power to prosper. Are you following me now? There is the supernatural ability of the spirit. It's an anointing. It's an enablement. An energizing of the spirit that comes upon you. That causes your life to look like the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. And that's what we are exploring. The Bible says, Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that giveth thee what? Power to prosper. How many of you have seen two people in business? And one person is flourishing, not just in business, in life. You are working with a stranger. And somebody walks up to that person and says, The Lord just led me to sow 10,000 naira. And while you are moving again, another person just stops and says, Sorry, I've been looking for you. Have you seen people like that? Let me tell you something. It's called the power to prosper. They never lay their hands on anything and it does not work. They step into a company, the company begins to flourish. Are you following me now? You give them a job and a task to do, they keep promoting them again and again. It's called the power to prosper. An ability that God gives you that distinguishes you and brings wealth and prosperity your direction. You're just sitting down, minding your business. Somebody will travel a great distance and come and meet you and say, there is a business idea and I feel like sharing it with you. Let me tell you something. It's what people like Bishop Oyedeko will call sweatless success. I know that many of us are so used to hard work that when you hear the word sweatless, I don't, I don't receive it. Hallelujah. An ability of the Spirit coming upon you. And we cannot end this series if we do not bring ourselves to this understanding. Now the Bible makes us to understand. Hear me. According to Romans chapter 4 and then Galatians chapter 3. The Bible says that Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Being made a cause for us. For it is written Cursed is everyone that hangeth on the tree to the end that the blessings of Abraham, the blessing, not as there, the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles that we may receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. And so it was God's desire that the entire race of humanity will be partakers of this power to prosper. Are you following me now? But because the blessing was enacted in only one man, God left a, a promise and said, whoever becomes your child automatically steps into this blessing. Are you getting it now? And so the biological children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren were partakers of these blessings. That's why the nation of Israel today can never be poor. They are directly linked by blood to Abraham. There is the power to prosper upon them. There is no nation that can destroy them. Americans know this smart enough. That's why they never disrespect Israel. Because they understand that they are a covenant people. This is about a covenant that God has sworn. They understand their heritage. Are you following me now? Israel is a desert place. Yet they produce food. They produce more food than Nigeria. How in the world is that happening? And Isaac sowed in that same land. And received that same year and hundredfold. And he increased. He worked strong. He prospered. It doesn't just happen like that. Are you listening to me? There is a spiritual side your business will fail you will suffer the works of your hands will fail you will beg and live from hand to mouth get a job without the power to prosper you will be frustrated many of our parents and loved ones are struggling because they lack this ability of the spirit called the power to prosper hallelujah And the Lord wants us to be partakers of this. Now, I hope you understand that historically we are Gentiles. We are not Jews. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Jewish nation are the offsprings of Abraham. Are you from Israel? If you are not from Israel, then you are not a Jew. You are not of the Israel of God. That means that we are alienated from the commonwealth of Israel. 
that means as Gentiles we are not partakers of this blessing are you following me now so God had a strategy God said Jesus Christ come are you following me now Jesus Christ came as that seed that prophetic seed of Abraham are you following me now he came through the lineage of Abraham so that he would open up doors for we the Gentiles to become partakers of this blessing but the Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law being made a cause for us for it is written cause is every man that hangs upon the tree who was the person who hung upon the tree Jesus Christ to the end that what that the blessing may also come upon the Gentiles hallelujah because the blessing was for Abraham and his seed so the only condition for us to be partakers of that blessing is that what we become the children of Abraham are you following me now and for us to become the children of Abraham then we must do what Abraham did so what did Abraham do the Bible says Abraham believed God and it was credited for him as righteousness so we like faithful Abraham when we believe Christ who represents God it is credited unto us as righteousness and so we become born again we become saved in Christ are you following me now and then if we are Christ then we are now qualified to be partakers of the blessings of Abraham hallelujah and so we can now say we are the seed of Abraham according to Galatians chapter 3 verse 29 if ye be Christ then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise say after me I am a partaker of the blessing of Abraham say one more time I am a partaker the Jews understood this that was why in John chapter 8 when Jesus began to speak to them they said Abraham is our father they never expected to be failures in life hallelujah that's why they rated themselves as first class citizens can I tell you something that was the reason why Paul was always contending with the Jews because the Jews did not believe that the Gentiles should just come into the faith life like that they believed that they were superior people by circumcision and so the Gentiles would have to undergo circumcision and become Jews then from Jews they will now become partakers of the divine life and then Paul was saying there is no difference for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God hallelujah and then Paul says there is neither male nor female neither Greek nor Hebrew but all of us are one in Christ are you getting it now so the root of um, our discussion tonight is founded upon Abraham and the blessing that God released to him can I tell you something every massive explosion of kingdom wealth that you see today in any part of the world is a byproduct of the Abrahamic that Abrahamic anointing that God placed upon Abraham that's what is spreading across are you listening to me please believe what I'm telling you and take it seriously the power to prosper has one mission to cause your life to become like the garden of Eden that on all sides you will flourish you will prosper so every time the anointing comes it suddenly begins it it moves into motion bringing everything that you have to become the garden of Eden the land of perfection so if that anointing comes upon your family what happens is it begins to change and shift things hallelujah a great man I respect Bishop David Oyedeko he saw this anointing walking in the father of faith Kenneth Copeland that everything he would touch this man was just minding his business and the power to prosper led him six years before his prosperity he was driving a talopika he was so poor so broke but he began to search through scriptures and he collided with this power to prosper and suddenly he bought a piece of land and they found out that there was oil under I can imagine the person who sold that land to him the person who never forgave himself to death say what kind of foolish person is this and Oedipo said he sat down and began to search diligently in fasting and prayer after three days 
when he found it he shouted he said I can never be poor hallelujah my own breakthrough started in 2007 when I had a, a vision and the audible voice of God I had four words massive kingdom wealth transfer and the Lord began to speak to me about the coming wealth transfer and I got angry in my spirit I said God there's got to be something this struggle cannot be it there is something called the power to prosper I began to search diligently from the word of God and to follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise and one day by the Spirit of God I collided with a revelation that has changed my life let me tell you something the power to prosper has no respect for your gender it has no respect for your background are you following me now it has no respect for your background so how do we access this power to prosper I want to go straight to the point hallelujah if you must get the blessing that Abraham got you must do what he did follow me Genesis this is where my teaching really starts oh God I pray that the word will sink in our hearts there are so many people that like results without understanding the process that leads to the result we like results when you see a prosperous man you're wow this guy is great but we must understand that the ways of God is such that when you master the process you can reproduce the results whenever you are not able to reproduce a result then you have not known the ways if a man desires mastery yet is he not crowned until he strives lawfully hallelujah the bible makes us to understand that god gave abraham isaac after waiting so long and in genesis chapter 22 follow me the bible says and it came to pass after these things verse one that god did what test abraham god did test abraham god did test abraham hallelujah what was god looking for God knew that he was going to enact a covenant with this man and he was going to bring wealth and abundance. Hear me friends, can I tell you something? The power to prosper doesn't just come by kneeling down and dropping seeds. You must do what Abraham did otherwise you will never have the power to prosper. Are you following me now? No matter how many times and how many days you fast and pray and roll on the floor, what happened to Abraham must happen to you otherwise you will never prosper God's way you can prosper in different ways but not the Abrahamic prosperity hallelujah please let me have someone anybody hallelujah look up please Abraham had Isaac Isaac represented his entire value he represented everything he could live and die for I hope you realize that Abraham waited so long to get Isaac. And then in Genesis 22, God begins the test that will open up the doors for unlimited wealth and prosperity. Anybody who has not passed through this process and is smiling about wealth should not smile quickly. Because if it is God's way, the test will come. Follow me. God said, Abraham, I know I gave you this son. Take now thy son thy only son whom thou lovest and offer him offer him as a bond offering upon a mount that I will show you that's the first test what was God looking for Abraham I mean Isaac's blood no no hallelujah it was bringing Abraham to a point where Isaac and any other thing will not take the place of the Lord are you following me now these are the conditions if you want to experience wealth unlimited from the Lord there will come that test of the position of God in your life it's amazing how many people believe that in the face of prosperity they will still love God and stand not until you are trained by the Spirit let me tell you something you have no right to speak over when you see people prosperous and backsliding don't be too quick to criticize them 
the proof of obedience is when you have the opportunity to disobey until the opportunity is given you can that's why there were two trees in eden so that man can choose if there were only one tree satan will accuse god and say you did not give man options and so there were two trees i said before you blessing and cursing i said before you life and death but here is my advice choose life that you may live are you getting blessed and the bible says abraham took isaac he took Isaac upon that mount, defying what people will say. Abraham was by that act of faith saying, Lord, I value you more than this Isaac. I value you more than all of these things. A point will never come where Isaac will take your place in my life. And this was the exact word that Moses was giving the nation of Israel in Deuteronomy chapter 8. He said, do you realize that before this blessing came, your fathers were tested? Are you following me now? The blessing came on account of the fact that they were found faithful. When Abraham, the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 4, the thoughts of Abraham, that Abraham had concluded that Isaac was going to die and that he counted God faithful to raise him back from the dead. And when God saw that Abraham had what we call obedience unto death, he said, I swear that in blessing, I will bless you. In multiplying, I will multiply. There are so many people who want the wealth of God. We want abundance. We want all of these things. The first thing God will need to capture is your heart. Are you listening to me? God must bring your heart to a place where you truly die in him. Such that he is king of kings and lord of lords. Where if they drop one billion naira today, it will not move you. Where your wealth is a ministry channeling the resources of heaven for the advancement of God's kingdom. Until you pass that test, you will not get the power to prosper. I'm, are you getting blessed tonight? Because many times when we teach about the power to prosper, we just feel it's just an impartation received by faith and start running. And there are so many people who have proven that they truly do not love God. They only love their stomachs. And so they heard that this ministry, when you come, you can be blessed. When they become directors, they forget. And then he was admonishing them. He said, let it not come to pass that when you have built houses and occupied, when you now begin to fly arrow, <laughs> no more if it's in Achi transport. When you begin to fly around, and then today you are in Ukraine, tomorrow you are this. Do you know something that you can come to a point where money can replace God? Because you will not see the need of God again. Are you following me now? There are people that can be so fortified with their finances. I hope you know that that's why Solomon backslided. Many of you who desire the wealth of Solomon, calm down until you read the book of Ecclesiastes. Solomon said in Ecclesiastes chapter 2, he said, I made myself this, I made myself. He said, there's nothing that my eyes saw and desired that I did not go for. He was so rich and wealthy. And the Bible says towards the end of his life, he began to bow to foreign gods because the Egyptian women made him do so. He had enough money to marry. It's not in Nigeria right now that marriage is like a building project. You have to plan by faith, pray, lay the foundation and rest lift it up to linton level and rest you do the first introduction then you rest breathe in and out first traditional breathe in and out say god we'll finish this second <laughs> hallelujah many people need god today i tell you the truth is because of their stomach they think they love god because of who he is you get so blessed that you cannot lie down again. When you were buying 1,000 Naira suit, you know where I'm, I'm talking about. You just buy it and a tailor will help you to arrange it. But now that you are buying a Gucci or a Versace, you can't lie down again. Hallelujah. It's amazing how our heart can turn. Now you're driving the Lexus Jeep. And so God said, this is it. We must make sure you pass this test. Your heart will be turned.
thoroughly furnished by God until God finds that there is no guile in you and then God will say there is no limit to what I can give you can I tell you something brothers and sisters it costed God only seven days to make the heavens and the earth it will not cost him more than one day to change your life all the cry and cry that people cry oh God when will breakthrough come I was told about a woman who loved God she had been serving God diligently and one night she slept and she had a vision of an, something about optics a formula that she got up drew it and took it to a hospital she just went casually remember we watched the documentary together and when she went to the hospital the consultants looked at her and they they said we have been trying to discover this for years and they called her and she was standing she thought they would just say thank you go away they met her and they said madam give us an opportunity to mass produce this the first the advance we are giving you is 20 million dollars right there the woman could not believe it that's what happens when you pass the test you come to that point where nobody and nothing isn't it amazing when a man's house catches fire or when a when someone's car catches fire the person faints for what you must come to a point where you realize that the god who gave you before can give you again is it amazing how god gives us something and demands it back and then we refuse we are like little children you give a little child something you say give me back you refuse while you have more to give there was a day you did not have an account now god gave you an account with little ten thousand and god makes a demand of it let me tell you how it happened to me I was minding my own business trusting God for prosperity thinking a business idea will come upon me pastor and while I was minding my business the Lord asked me to sow everything that I had I said come on God you can't do this to me how, how, how many things do I have I will never forget Christ Embassy Prosperity Convention 2007 I woke up by 3 a.m. I packed everything plus the suit I bought for my ministration and my rechargeable lantern. I zipped everything in my box. I called it my Isaac. I knelt down for three hours stretch praying in tongues on it. I said, Lord, I make a vow to you today that there is nothing that I cannot lay aside for you, including my life. And God said, that's it. That's all I want. That you come to this position where there is nothing there is nothing there is no one who compares with you i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping you Lord. and i prayed that morning I said, Lord, it's not about my gifts. Take my heart. I cried and I prayed. I said, Lord, I, I cannot live my life struggling from hand to mouth. I have seen too many people with it. Lord, I'm ready to step into your blessings. Are you following me now? And the next day, I dressed up for church and I carried the bag. Pastor, I started walking and I was praying in tongues, going to church. When I got to church, there was, it was full and then we were outside. I sat down outside and many people were looking at me. You know what to see a young man standing. You're supposed to be looking in case a lady is looking at you. I was too serious for my destiny that morning. I said, things must change. You know, sometimes we get distracted over trivial issues. I said, my destiny must change. I sat down with that bag. I was, I was just waiting for the time when they will say bring this gift as soon as they said it you know plenty of people were giving many people were giving out of their abundance giving plots of land what 100 million what i had was what my life that was my alabaster box i carried it gladly and i tell you the truth it wasn't a very pleasant box so don't you think it was nice and rosy it's something you'll be ashamed of but i carried it and i was praying in tongues and hear me i put my heart on that seed and i said lord take my heart 
I said, Lord, if there is anything you will give me in my life that I cannot give back to you, let it not come in the first place. Are you following me now? You want the blessing that Abraham had. You must pass the test that he passed. And I took that back. People were looking at me. Some were laughing. And I went in front of the altar. It wasn't just at the back. I said, Osha, please help me. No. I took it there. And then I laid it. It pained me because that was my all. When you hear me write songs like, King of my life you are my own and i live for you alone that's not a special number it's an expression of the sincerity of my heart i cannot tell you i was laughing when i was doing it for i will be a liar if you are laughing to drop your seed that's ishmael that's not isaac the day you are going to drop isaac you will know this is isaac hallelujah and when I dropped it, I went outside. And people were looking at me. When I went back, I sat down. Suddenly, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, son, from this day, you have entered wealth. That's exactly what God told me. Did money fall from heaven? No. I didn't even understand the gravity of that blessing. I didn't know it was called the power to get wealth. A supernatural ability suddenly I started having dreams pastor Kenneth Copeland would lay hands on me in dreams and release the anointing I had several dreams I had one dream when Bishop David Oyedeko asked me to drop every seed that I had and when I dropped it he was looking at me he said no I should check there's still something left I brought out the whole wallet and I dropped it then he brought out a carton full of mint brand I mean notes and then he looked at me I was lying down he was just smiling at me and then a voice spoke he said the keys of prosperity that I gave Bishop Oyedepo I give it to you I'm telling you friends there is something called the power to prosper it will not just come by fasting and praying when your heart is far he said they draw nigh to me with their mouth but their hearts are far away from me there is nothing I tell you there is no amount that will move my heart away from God there's no amount there's no amount of fame there's no amount of lifting I don't care what it is there's nothing I have today that I cannot give God there is nothing let your mind grow wild nothing until you get to that point every time I trust God for increase I'm telling you I'm thinking about the house of God Lord bring increase let's get better sound equipment are you following me now the house of God must be your priority many of us think about ourselves whose god is their belly david said i want to build a house for you lord i want to build a house for you many of us want to build our empires for ourselves you will not get the power to prosper that way you must have a passion towards the things of the kingdom are you following me now you must have a passion a heart for the things of God that anything that has to do with the kingdom you are a willing giver you are willing to invest your life and your all you will touch a part of God that God will swear and say in blessing I will bless you hallelujah God has been replaced by many things in our hearts jobs the quest for sustenance and this rat race for money 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 many of our parents have been looking for money from the days of their youth till now they've not found it doesn't it tell you that only god gives it he said thou shall remember the lord thy god we have a generation of people who have replaced the holy spirit in church they now want to be the holy spirit to the pastor because they sold one million naira they say um can you preach about uh, about wickedness and you just know that they have a personal problem hallelujah for many people their wealth is an opportunity for them to marry more wives go around and mess up mess people up and do all kinds of things to promote satan those in the world system understand that the purpose of their wealth is to promote the kingdom of darkness let me ask you a question 
Do you really have a heart for God? Do you have a heart for his kingdom? Otherwise, the wealth that God brings, the Bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them. And so you must come to a point where you must say, Lord, I'm giving you my heart. There is nothing and there are many of us who have enemies right now because somebody was doing you 1,000 naira and when you needed it most, he didn't give you. I said, God will not make me forgive this person. You really think God will give you the power to prosper? You're going to kill God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I swear, I will not forgive this person. Our God is saying, this person is owing you 30,000 naira. Let it go. He said, ah! I bind that devil that is bringing that word. Hallelujah. Are you following me now? You must come to a place where you pass that test. Where the material things that God gives. See, let me tell you something. Money can corrupt. Oh. Are you listening to me? <laughs> Money can corrupt brothers and sisters. A point will come, you will be so rich. Look at what politicians do. They just put money under their carpet and walk on it. Lie down on it and say, like the rich fool, my soul will find rest. According to God's principles, money is not supposed to be kept stagnant. It's supposed to be moving. When you keep money stagnant, you are called a rich fool. So God trains us and brings us to that point where you realize that everything God gives you you are to benefit from it and the kingdom of God is to benefit from it. When you become a kingdom advancer, then at that point you position yourself to receive the power to prosper. No matter how many days and months you fast and pray and roll on the floor, if God has not gotten your heart, you will not be prosperous. But happy are you when you come to that point where nothing in the world, nothing in the world can take his place not fame not power not influence not charisma not naira and cobble that you sit in the lexus jeep and you say thou jeep let me tell you christ is above you at any point he makes demands you will go hallelujah god gives you hundred thousand and you look at the tithe ten thousand ah guy god God, I promise to give you the tithe in the next amount. I really, I desperately need to do something. You were begging for money. You didn't have it. Now it came and you cannot honor God. Lord, I honor you. Whatever it is that I cannot give you, let it not come. Let it not come. God, give me this business. God gives you this business and God cannot have your time again. No, It's no time for the things of the kingdom again. Hallelujah. No time for fellowship with the Spirit. Lord, prosper me. And now you are prospering. No time to stay in the presence of God. I told God, I said, nothing will take away my quest for intimacy with you. Are you getting blessed tonight? Let me tell you, I'm teaching you the kingdom's way of accessing the power to prosper. Do you realize that your business belongs to him? Do, re, do you realize that the ideas belong to him? Do you realize that your being in school was on account of his grace? What do you have that you gave yourself? Why can you not give it back? Hallelujah. When you come to that point where you can take your Isaac at the demand of God, proving to him that he is above all. Above all above all husbands and wives have fought at home because 5,000 was missing from a salary that was kept and then the man just came back from an anointing service for prosperity you will never get blessed God's way at least not from my Bible that I know other people sit down with their greed and they want to get blessed so that they can prove a point and then they find a man of God that this grace is operating on that kneel and say I want to tap into and while they are saying it their heart say God give me this thing and see what will happen Many of us want to bring our parents to a point where they bow to us and we revenge from the things that we suffered growing up and say, Lord, give me this power to prosper and see how I'll... No, 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 no. I, the Lord, test 
the heart. I judge the conscience. God will test your heart until he finds only himself in your heart. When he finds any other thing aside from him, let me show you a scripture that tells you that God is a jealous God. Oh, Shapo Kariyadabai. I sense the anointing of the spirit in this place. I'm telling you, this is a journey that will lead many of us into true prosperity. The kind of prosperity that you will not shake when they say there is recession. The reason why many people are afraid of recession is because they are thinking of their business. They are not thinking about the one who gives wealth. They are saying, ah, my business, my this, my that, my job, my this. Ah, take everything I have today. Leave me with the power to prosper. It will come back. That's why a believer can never be bankrupt. You steal money from a believer, you have only cheated yourself. Because you have a cause for it, but the, person, the prosperity upon him will bring it back. Deuteronomy 6. Verse 10. And it shall be when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land which he swore unto thy fathers, Abraham, to Isaac and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities which thou build not. Listen to what the power to prosper can do for you. It can give you houses that you did not build. Deuteronomy 6 verse 10. This is an order of wealth and prosperity that you walk into a level of inheritance that you cannot even account for. And houses full of good things which thou feelest not. And wells deep that thou diggest not. Are you reading it? Is it in your Bible? These are the blessings that, these are the things that can begin to follow you when the power to prosper. I told you that the power to prosper has the job of making your life become like the Garden of Eden. It will not stop working until your life looks exactly like Eden. Perfection. Twelve. Then beware. Okay, let's read verse seven. And wells deep, which thou diggest not, vineyards and olive trees, which thou plantest not, when thou shalt have eaten and be full. He said, then beware. Are you listening again? For every time God announces the blessings, he keeps telling them, beware. Beware. That means these are tendencies that can happen. When God warns you about a thing, take it seriously. Lest thou forget the Lord who brought thee forth from the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. 13. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him and shall swear by his name. He said, ye, ye shall not go after other gods. This is what God doesn't want. Mammon is a god. Of the gods of the people who are around about you. He said, for the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you. Lest the anger of the Lord thy God be kindled against thee and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. God wants to give you things that you have not even worked for. Supernatural blessings that you will step in. Day and night. Ask Manasseh, he can tell you. Sometimes on the street, how many of you have had that happen? You go to Bab, you will not even pay for it. You enter car to town, you will not even... Everything is, is the blessing, the, the anointing, the power to prosper. Causing your life to become like the garden of The first manifestation of this blessing happened in my life when someone called me by 6.10. I will never forget. 6.10 in the morning. He called my number, shaking under the anointing and said, is this Joshua Selman? I said, yes. He said, please send me your account details. I said, sorry, I don't do that. You know, arm robbers and all of that. I don't do that. Who is that? I said, that's not the issue. I'm under instruction. Send me your account details. And from that day till today, I tell you the truth, people send me hundreds of thousands that I don't even know. Someone did a transfer, a fearful transfer to my account and the account name was me, M-E. Are you listening to me? A time came, I think in 2008, where my account was hacked and some sizable amount was taken from it. When we went to the bank and then we complained through ATM or something, I don't know how they did it. They withdrew everything and left just 1,000 in my account. You can imagine. 
We went to the bank and when they checked, they found out that the robbery was done from Port Harcourt. And my ATM was here with me and everything. When they took everything, my bank, my, the bank said I should take all my friends. They would go and swear and sign affidavit and do this police statement. And then we're going to get a lawyer. I looked at them. I said, people, forget it. They looked and said, what are you saying? And they said, forget it. Till today, there are some of the bank officials that every time I enter, they look at me. They, sometimes they look and say, is this person on drugs or what is he doing? You know, there's a level of possessiveness you have towards the things of the world. Because you feel it's your sweat. I went back and I said, Lord, I love you. There is nothing that I have that does not come. If I die today, that thing will still be in the account there. That's the mindset you must have. And true to it, God did something to me. Hallelujah. When God finds your heart, there's nothing that he will not give you. I sleep in the night. You can ask him. I share some of these dreams. I sleep in the night and angels walk to me and show me ideas and show me things. Are you following me? Business ideas, the wisdom of the spirit communicated unto me as I sleep in the night. I see like a television in my sleep and my dreams and they show me certain things and I get up and do exactly as I have seen. There is something called the power to prosper. This is my message tonight. But God must have your heart. I said I'll try this thing to see if it works. My younger sister is there. You can ask her. When my mother was about to start a little poultry that she had. I prayed on it. Her poultry. And I said Lord. This is my mother. I release the power to prosper. Today my mother is flourishing from the poultry. It will work anywhere. Are you listening to me? I traveled to South Africa and while I was in South Africa, the people did not even, they looked at me like this. They invited me over for lunch and while I was having lunch, one of the people, they packaged some sizable amount and then they packaged a phone, a brand new phone and the white people brought it. They said, Joshua, I do not know what, what is it about your life? There's something that attracts us. They dropped all the gift there and I was laughing. It's called the power to prosper a fearful order of grace that you cannot even explain yourself. Hallelujah. It's the power to prosper. When we began purchasing some of these equipments, the person who distributes it just fell in love with us and said, you can come and be taking some of these things before you pay for it. He said, no, we want to pay for everything. You see people being compelled to do certain things. The moment you step in, you are exempted. Is the power to prosper. Doors begin to open by themselves because God has, everywhere you go, God knows that he's not afraid of your tendencies because he has your heart. My son, give me your heart. Hallelujah. And one day somebody called me to his office. He just called me and looked at me. He said, I don't know what it is about your life. But can you pray for me to partake of this anointing to prosper? I told him there is nothing I have that does not come from God. And there he brought out 0.3 million and dropped and said, take. My mind, I said, Lord, what for? See, you come to a point in your life where you cannot reverse the process again. It's easier for you to keep prospering than to go back to poverty. That's what happens when God has your heart. There is no day, no day, that I do not return back to my house with a gift or a blessing from somebody. Ah, Jimmy, you are a ministry. Forget all that. All this. Was I born with, with Mike on my hand? Hallelujah. This grace, it will work for you. It will work for you. Somebody who just walks and buys a gift and brings. Someone just ah, the blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. You're sitting quietly. Somebody will start a company and make you one of the board of directors. Your work is just to supervise that they are, they are doing the right thing. Fearful blessings. Let me tell you something. 
Stop chasing money. Chase after God. The secret to poverty is to chase money. You are looking for, there are people, they call it hustling. I must make it to this money. My hand must touch it. I'm, I also say, man, you are doing it. I look that continue. That's a curse. That's a demonic statement. Hallelujah. We keep chasing money when he says, seek first the kingdom and his righteousness and he said for the gentiles run after these things and your father knows you think he doesn't know you need money he knows you need school fees he knows you need all these things but i'm telling you when god has your heart when god has your heart there's nothing you will not get hallelujah wouldn't you like to step into that level of life where everywhere you go you become like the ark that was in Obededom's house because there is something you have with all humility I never enter a place every time people invite me to their houses just to come and pray or share fellowship with them I am happy not in arrogance but I know that I am leaving the power to it's, it's like a dew rubbing off on you somebody you just come and buy juice in someone's shop and you leave and they begin to sell see business people do not know this when they know they will stop struggling you can cry print posters do everything and say come buy i have it jebugari buy nobody will buy it but when the power to prosper comes you will start doing wholesale wholesale not retail again wholesale how that we will realize that the secret to our prosperity is founded upon the word go for god's word let your heart pant after him are you are you following me now stop thinking business think kingdom think about god and his ways oh god that you will empower me that i will donate a boss oh god that you empower me that i will make the life of your servants comfortable oh god bless me that i will be i will be a blessing The, off, the, the offering, offering bags that you see was a donation by the treasurer. It was some amount that she wanted to use to do something and she met me. I know she would beat me up for telling you this. Hallelujah. And she said, see, I've been looking for ways to be a blessing. And I've been asking God to bless me. And with this that I have, I'm committing it to the house of God. And I can tell you firsthand that this lady is entering levels of blessings today that is even getting her parents scared. Do you realize that if you are prosperous today, many of us can end some things and even reconcile our families? Because money issue has cost Tom and Jerry um, 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 and all kinds of things to happen in our families. But tonight I'm teaching you that the way to access the power to get wealth is number one. God must have your heart. Number two, quickly, you must be able to one way. Now this, this you don't choose one. They are following themselves in that order. Are you following me now? So God has your heart. Number two, God will connect you to the careers of this anointing. God will connect you to the careers of this anointing. God will connect. This is about transfer. Prophetic transfer. God will connect you to the careers of it. Whether through their tapes, through their DVDs, through visions. Are you following me now? God will cause you to lock yourself somewhere. I told you that I saw Kenneth Copeland, Oyedeko, um, Sondia Delaja, several people that carry these blessings. They also got it from their fathers of faith. And then they, by impartation, oh, he said, such as I have, give I unto you. Let me tell you something very interesting. I contacted the spirit of prayer when I listened to, you may not know this, but let me tell you, Pastor Pete. The senior pastor of House on the Rock, I was listening to a prayer retreat tape in Abuja same thing a prayer retreat tape it was a hot prayer retreat 
And while he was preaching and they were praying, I locked myself. I said, God, the spirit of prayer must leap from this man and enter my life. Hallelujah. And then I found that scripture that says, Quicken us, O God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, energize us, and we will call upon your name. You need to locate. See, sometimes you don't appreciate. Don't just look at people. Try to study the anointing that is upon them. That may be the solution to your challenge. The prophet always passed the house of the Shunammite woman. Have you, have you read that in the Bible? And suddenly she perceived that he was a career. Because prophets don't only reveal the future. An ability is given to them. They can create one by their utterance. And she said, I perceive this is a holy man of God. And she did all she could do to trap him in her house. And as a result, look at how he said it casually. He said, what do we do for this woman? That had been their prayer request. Do you realize that your prayer request is at the beck and call of somebody's anointing? Something you have been praying for for years. There are vessels that carry the anointing that will answer to it. Are you getting me? That you will be crying and languishing over a thing. And God will see, God will you will meander yourself into one meeting and just see somebody stay. Little will you know that these are the agents that carry this prophetic unction, and you will just speak. That's the reason why, when you check, check Bishop Oedeko, for instance, I love him so much, people don't know why. Him, when he's preaching, you may not see people falling under the anointing like this, but people that man has found some keys, and every time he's speaking. I just say, Lord, let something leave this man. I desire the presence of God that Benny King carried so much. Every time I watch him and cry and say, God, you've got to give me this. And by prophetic impartation, prophetic impartation. So you must desire some things. And can I tell you something? One of the things that God gave us, one of our visions is to reveal the wealth of the kingdom and to finance God's end time agenda. I say it here without fear or favor. There is the power to prosper upon this ministry. With all humility, look at it by yourself. Do you not see that the, the works that are done here are not the works of mere men? How many months salary can bring the level of excellence and blessings that God has brought? And this is only the beginning. God has begun to speak to me about next year. I say, brace up, for there shall be a performance. Hallelujah. And it's our desire to end this series by bringing you to this point and releasing this power to prosper. For as many of you who can listen, it can end the struggles in your families. Many of you are about to go home. Would it be why God kept you? To carry this anointing and take home and say an end comes to it. That as you are knocking your gate, you are saying, Lord, let the gates be open. Suddenly those owing your parents begin to bring for the money. The promotion that was due comes because of the power to prosper. How many of you believe in what I'm sharing tonight? Because we are going to pray. Whenever I find myself struggling in an area... I begin to search for agents that have the anointing that can get me out of that trouble and I humble myself whether it's through my seed through my prayer through prophetic impartation let me share with you something that will shock you God began to speak to me about several things and when God shared with me the revelation of Anakazo we began to experience increase and lifting are you following me now we began to experience increase and lifting when koinonia started the lord gave me an instruction the lord told me something he said when we had started and people you know it was it was really getting much and god told me that you have not seen anything yet i want you to tap into an anointing and god told me to go to canaan land i, I don't share this i only shared it at the at the the, the 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 minister's retreat but let me share it here first thing in the morning 5 a.m in the morning remember i just came and i walked in i told them guys the lord asked me from the room he said go out i want to talk with you and i went out and the lord told me now today i want you to leave for lagos this morning hallelujah 
I just packed up my things. I was so excited. Every time God gives fearful instructions that cost me, I begin to rejoice because I have learned by experience that God is not my enemy. Hallelujah. Every time I look forward to times when God will give me fearful instructions because I know that there are times of blessings and God commanded me to take a seed and to take it to Canaan land not to drop it in any living faith branch. He said, take it. He said, I want you to sow this seed for supernatural increase and expansion. I said, fine. We boarded the first, the first plane that could get me when I, I was so excited. I was, I, I chartered a car from the airport to Canaan land. I told the guy to wait for me there. I got it. Many of you do not know. So that you do not think that we went to a herbalist. Hallelujah agents who are carriers of the blessings that you require and when i i got there you know i was able to drop the seed and all of these things then i was prayed for and when that happened i came out and i was about to enter the car and the lord said no come out and i came out he said kneel down i knelt down he said lay your hands on that ground he says son it becomes impossible for you not to face increase and expansion and i came back quietly to zaria and the anointing began to speak he's still speaking today in a fearful way and we have not seen anything i want you to know that the anointing can be transferred hallelujah but it comes on the wings of sacrifice the certain time the lord asked me to empty my account and he just waited until a deposit was made he said i should empty it I said lord i like i love you because you know how to ensure that my heart is up to date and i gladly sent the seed three hours later someone sent about three times the amount to my account god is my witness i will not stand before god's altar and tell you lies people struggle over nothing not realizing that the kingdom of God works with definite principles. Begin to respect the careers of the things that you desire. And tonight, we want to release this power to prosper. The power to prosper. An anointing, an ability that will help you. Business or no business, there is a place for business. We have shared all of those things. But this will connect you in dimensions that will make you afraid. Please believe it. Please believe it. Oh, believe it. Shaka Borasitaya. Sense the presence of God strong in this place. Doors that will be opened for you out of their own volition. Let me read one last scripture. Isaiah 60. Aaron, you can sit down. God bless you, sir. Verse 3 And the nations shall come to thy light And the kings to the brightness of thy rising Verse 4 Lift up thy eyes right round about and see They all gather themselves together They come to thee Are you seeing? Thy sons shall come from far And thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side Verse 5 Let's read together then thou shalt see and flow together and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto you, thee and the forces of the Gentiles shall come to thee. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Do not forget him. Never forget him. Acknowledge him as the owner and Lord of your wealth. Get to a point where there is nothing that can take his place in your life. When you get to that point, you will truly, truly receive a blessing from the Lord. Two prayer points and we are done tonight. Rise up on your feet. Go ahead and begin to bless God in the spirit. Listen, let your heart be open. God wants to do something powerful that can change your life. Respect prophetic meetings like this. With everything, with everything.
everything and shout for your glory with everything with everything we will shout for your one more time with everything with everything we will shout for your glory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, there is nothing you would demand of me that I shouldn't be able to give. Grace to be able to give you every and anything, including my finances. Come on, pray. Go ahead and pray. Grace, you are able. I stop doubting you. You are not my enemy. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They say at God, they are thoughts of good. They are thoughts of good. They call to the God for enemy. God is not your enemy. God is not your enemy. With greed, with self-esteem. God is not your enemy. 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 God is not your en
enough. See, if you are not dissatisfied, you will never step into this place. You've got to be angry for once. For yourself and for your family. Say, Lord, I'm tired of struggling. Tired of watching my father, my mother, and my loved ones struggle. It's not your desire. Say, Lord, I'm tired. Of watching my Je business fall, I'm tired. Of watching my business fall, be kato be gibon da kato. Ha pori be kato kete bon da kato sa. I'm seeing dry bones in the spirit. I'm seeing dry bones in the spirit. The Lord is resurrected not of us. Be kusa kato na ba kato le be gede bon da. Be kasa kato le gede bon sa kada. Be kusa kato da. Be kato le be gede bon sa kada. Do you know do you know why Saul lost his throne are we Bible students do you know why Saul lost his throne who can tell me why he lost his throne Saul did not lose his throne necessarily just because he offended God Saul lost his throne because he, of, he offended a pattern an order of operation he waited there was a man occupying the priest prophet office who was supposed to be the one to offer incense and they waited for him and the king said look you are wasting our time the people are destroying me say ah is he not the same god we all serve the same god and he offered the sacrifice and when samuel came he said no you have done foolishly if you allowed me to come god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this the throne is taken away from you just for the sin of violating priesthood a man lost his throne without knife no knife nobody fought him but he lost his throne. David tried to do his best to still respect him. He was sitting in a physical throne, yet he had gotten up in the realm of the spirit. Show me the job in the realm of the spirit. Otherwise, stop wasting your time with CVs around. It will not work. Are you getting what I'm saying? You just get up physically and go and harass your unbelieving loved ones. I've come to you repent you must repent you are fighting physically and all of a sudden you receive casualties but when you invoke priesthood someone goes to bed in the night and sees a stranger coming and says it's time for your salvation and the person is already convicted here you come and you say look I want to talk to you about he helps you and say Jesus I've been waiting because Jericho has fallen are we together you meet your destiny helper jericho covers his eyes he is the one but he cannot see you and you pass but when jericho falls like the prodigal son as prodigal as that son was while the father saw him the father didn't even say so what have you been doing i hear you have been with pigs he held him he said leave the matter of the past now let me put a ring come be restored for by the arm of flesh koinonia will no man prevail you will never get a job just by physical pressing believe me you will never prosper just by doing all of these things there are many men of god some of you are here wonderful men of god they are trying to win the battle and rise in ministry physically please invite me here's my complimentary card i'm a sound man of god by god's grace i'm balanced i'm this and that and that you are and Jericho is looking at you and say it doesn't happen that way Jesus knew this imagine Jesus going around and saying people 
come and listen to me for 30 years no one was interested in listening to him but when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood he came out of the waters a voice spoke hear ye him publicity or no publicity everywhere jesus went men followed him are we are we together the bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness let me tell you many of you your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit but the system for translating it we are there wasting time doing a lot of things many of our loved ones some of you are here you thought that okay by the time you get a job it will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you it's true. Listen, when you hear people testifying ah huh, try to understand what made the miracle work because most of what they were doing they had done it before master we have toiled all night jesus said no it's not nets that catches fish Abba, you've been with me you don't understand how this thing works master we have toiled all night he said but i know there is a relationship between you and that fish and jesus said cast your net the net will be casted but not before he speaks it is after he speaks the cv will be submitted but not before the priesthood it is after are we together you will try to have the child but when you continue the way you are doing you will keep miscarrying forever it's not an insult let me tell you this without the presence of god there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us is not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial jesus has come to your heart but he must come to your life just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free potentially you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities but ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened this is paul teaching the church in ephesus he says alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them having the the tragedy is not that god lied but that their understanding is darkened and so by reason of the darkened understanding they have been alienated from the experience of that life it's not enough to say jesus died it's not enough to say i'm born again if that were it brothers and sisters many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were i watch people under the influence of manipulations that are not of an earthly at earthly origin and i watch the folly of men how we do our best i was once like that but no more i'm born again i've repented i've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically it has to be from the realm of the spirit first not from the realm of the spirit whether first or not the order is first from the realm of the spirit when you plant a seed it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there that is the part you cannot explain when it starts coming out you can now water it but the growth there doesn't need your watering listen there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights some of us will never experience progress in our lives we wake up in the morning 
we sleep late in the night we are sincere but nothing is working are we together yes every time a blessing comes trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters i'm going to give you a job and you find out that satan does not need to fight you he already fought you with the presence of jericho and god said guys the goal is not to stay in jericho but you can't let jericho stand and reach where you are going don't pity it bring it down there is a don't just look at the fence there are captives in that place there are treasures in that place and he said let me show you it is not by physical fighting you don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters jericho sank flat the bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why i i told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here where ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we are men of god we love god but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be there are people who have experienced the defeat of jericho but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused jericho to fall for them they just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory so they can trivialize the existence of jericho jericho is real if you don't see it in your life a priesthood already brought it down for you are you hearing what i'm saying but everyone who must pass remember israel is god's own people what is the business between israel and Jer they had conquered other nations what do they need the treasures of jericho when you read your bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation i fight i defeat jericho and i continue my journey but i carry rehab i carry treasures there is rehab there without rehab there is no jesus without rehab the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry rehab hmm. we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is yahweh yahweh we look to yahweh yahweh soon going to pray the lord rejects saul as a king and now looks at david but there was no priest to confirm what god wanted the priest that was available still wanted saul and david could not be king 
God Almighty had left Saul and wanted David, Samuel said, no, I still want Saul. And God remained helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter. You saw it in 2014, no priest. 2015, no priest. That your dreams show you Eden. Your life shows you Adulam. There's a system of translation. Are we together? And all of a sudden, the Lord now spoke to Samuel. He didn't quarrel Samuel. He said, Samuel, how long will you keep weeping? Seeing that I have rejected Saul as king. Rise up, carry your horn. Go to the house of Jesse. Go and anoint the next king of Israel, paraphrasing. And David remained there. I'm sure David will be in the wilderness and say, when will my change come? The change was in a negotiation between God. God already intended. In God's mind, this is the next king. And the king will sit with sheep and say, oh Lord, when will my breakthrough come? And God will say, the day a priest comes. All of a sudden, the priest agrees and God's will continues moving. A priest refuses and God remains. Moses was wise. He said, Lord, I already know you too well. Don't ever let us go here if your presence. If that I could not go before us, I'm not going. No. Moses said, because my going is as good as wasting my time. I, I, I know what is before us. And he said, my presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. Rest is a gift. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Rest is a gift. My presence will go with you. And I, through my presence, will give you rest. My presence will clear up the spirits. And whatever you do, when you read 2 Chronicles 20, the same thing happened. Three kings came together to defeat the people of God. And all of a sudden, the Bible says, the priests and the musicians were now in front and they began to sing. You are good and your mercies endure forever. The ark started fighting them. Who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver? And the Bible says all of a sudden they turn. Can you imagine allies together? When the ark starts fighting for you, is fearful. Are we together? Fearful. You are standing close to danger. It never touches you. Before it touches you, something touches it. The priesthood. The people started killing themselves. And the Bible says everyone helped to kill another. That's not a man fighting. That's the ark fighting. And all of a sudden, when the last two were left, he killed one. And the ark said, what are you waiting for? And he carried the knife, killed himself. And when the people came, they found gold, they found treasures. When the ark fights, it fights thoroughly. When you fight, if your hand paints you like Moses and start going down, you see that? They can defeat you. But you carry the ark and let it begin to fight. They kept the ark and they kept Dagon. These people brought an entity, a god, enshrined with spirits called Dagon. The Bible did not show us there were any physical contact. By morning, Dagon fell face forward on the ground. The superiority of the presence of God above any enchantment and any ordinance. When you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by occultism and all of these things prevail, is because the ark has not been lifted. Tonight we have come in this place 
to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same jericho that causes barrenness it is still jericho the bible didn't say jericho do you know look at the interesting thing jericho fell flat but the woman who stayed in the fence how god delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand but the bible tells us everything fell down flat to break every chain 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 is to break every chain break every chain break every listen brothers and sisters we're about to pray but i plead with you in the name of the lord to believe this mystery as simple as it looks and you will watch the wonder in your life stop focusing on physical things you will cheat yourself a thousand times nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own if anything on earth stands there is a force keeping it There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. Listen. The type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when Jericho is down. Anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen. I have seen anointed men and women of God. People I know love God with all their heart. But they can never prevail in ministry. Because they have been fighting physically. They do everything. And sometimes you wonder and say, ah, look how great this brother is. Look how great this sister is. Is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it? Hallelujah. Listen. People make all kinds of gifts for me, as you can imagine. People make all kinds of gifts. And sometimes I see what people do, and I'm shocked. I say, life is so unfair. How can this brother, this sister be this gifted, and yet be begging? And you see someone come out from somewhere, and priesthood goes before him. And in one week, his life has changed. They can even be sarcastic. Priesthood will make them take life for granted. There is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life. Please hear me. There are families here listening. You have done all you know. Why don't you allow God? Allow the ark come into your home tonight. And let it go around Jericho. Allow the ark come into your life tonight. Let it go around Jericho. And you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself. Hallelujah. I was told recently about a young man. Very nice, wonderful young man who loves God. Everything you know in life, including good things, fight him. And recently, I think something happened. They stole a phone. And the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy. And he was sitting down. The man kept the phone there. And police came and took two of them together. 
I got a text. The person sent me a text. And when he narrated everything that was happening, I usually don't call people back. But I was touched. I called him. I said, where are you? He said, Apostle, look at my life. Nothing works. I said, how did you get to the police station? He said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him. You think that's ordinary? Maybe that young man, breakthrough is coming for him. Another thief from somewhere steals, comes to drop a phone close to you. Does the police not have common sense to probe? And they carry you together because there is a spirit coordinating this. It looks like coincidence. Someone just falls from a chair, just a little chair like this, and all of a sudden, one side of him paralyzes. It's a lie. It's not that chair that paralyzed him. Be smart. People fell from trees plucking mangoes and they were fine. They cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away. You fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg? No. A, a coincidence navigated. The chair was just the scapegoat. It's not about the chair. Tonight, we are going to pray before I begin to minister. You are going to say, Satan, so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job i thought it was all about marriage i thought it was all about children i thought it was all about my background now i'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem provided Jericho is standing there but Joshua gather the priests gather the priests Habalakato Sebrakatadi Adabalaba listen look at me i want you in the mind of your spirit look at that job issue look at that issue and say I will no longer be deceived you are not the problem the problem is jericho it is never that the business cannot work it is never that helpers cannot come once jericho is still standing here nothing can go in nothing can come out lift your voice and begin Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Self tell me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirit. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Let's <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man. The man, Jesus, he qualifies to be a priest, not the spirit, Jesus. The man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the Aaronic priesthood. The Bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of Melchizedek. A priesthood with no beginning, a priesthood with no end. That there is that eternal priesthood of Jesus. Listen carefully. We are talking about very deep foundational issues here. Jesus, the man, the priest that took his blood. The Bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all. Once and for all. The advocacy of that priesthood is superior. Listen. Every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says thou listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon Are we together and so the bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight you will not need it the moon the sun and moon they are important but i'm introducing something jehovah god himself will be the light that sponsors your altar the same way listen listen that men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the, they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and god says these things are inferior i come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness i am the light are we together i want you to be tired of what is happening in your life and family I tell you the truth when we begin to pray and i begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems your frustration continues i can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown off the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministering lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that asks can receive it lord visit the foundation why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery oh god Lord, why the circle of tragedies, one tragedy after another, 
one tragedy. Alléluia. 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 Please just, just be silent for a moment. I want to start ministering now. Let's just, the Lord is giving me instructions. Just, just be silent. Stand where you are. Um, something is happening inside, outside, everywhere. The Lord is showing me something very strange. Now, um, let me just describe what I'm seeing. I'm seeing something that looks like um, this thing people wear. What's the name? This thing that looks like a um, lady's thing that men wear. That, that looks like a... Yes, that, that thing. That's what I'm seeing on many people. And the Lord is telling me on everyone that I see that thing in. There is a very strange deliverance because the, I'm hearing hidden glory. And I want to pray. Please, you don't, don't shout, don't do anything. Just let me flow. You start bringing those people out. I'm going to pray now for those group of people. I'm seeing it. Because I'm seeing that those people, no matter what you do, your glory is never seen. You will struggle and try. But nothing ever happens. Now in the name of Jesus... I stretch my hands just silence everywhere father I'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that I see by the power of priesthood I come as an act bearer an envoy tonight and Lord I decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free Restore their glory now. Jacos kapatariata and the keta kaskotariata ji. Brakatoka tabalia. Hidden glory. That's what I hear in the spirit. Hidden glory. Hidden glory. There is glory, but covered in Jericho. Covered by the fence of Jericho. Pakapata kato sabrakatalia. Everywhere, inside, outside. I'm praying now. Please just be sensitive. Let's, let's do what God is directing us to do. Tonight there must be total victory. Total victory. Now I'm praying for families. The anointing of God will come on individuals. But it is for families. It will come on you. Once that anointing comes on you now. Know that God is visiting your family. Lord I pray now. I release the sword the sword of the lord in the name of jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they i decree and declare now by the anointing of the holy ghost i don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of jesus the son of the living God in the name of Jesus I command now by the power of the Holy Ghost let there be emancipation emancipation for every family hidden glory hidden glory the Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and then we beheld his glory The Lord is still touching people. The Lord is still touching people. That's why you came. You have done the listening. Let me pray now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Something serious is going to happen here now. 
now i want to pray a very serious prayer the lord is leading me to pray this prayer i just had in my spirit altars of poverty hold on just keep your hands lifted father i'm praying you spoke to my ears altars of poverty if there is any family here in an ordinance under that cause nothing works there is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works in the name of jesus i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost let there be deliverance now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost altars of poverty everywhere overflow one overflow two overflow three online if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege i decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight for all of you in front here i speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of jesus and at the count of three you let them go now one two three go go out of them now out of every one of their destinies out of their lives Shekatos kabariata i invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives release their families now release their destinies now You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision show something else in the name of jesus play now lift your hands i declare the spirit that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the holy ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated i command now at the count of three be set free one two three be free now be free now be free now everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me hallelujah oh sephia 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 like sephia i'm hearing a name sephia who is that please let's let's hurry up there is a lot to do i want us to settle down really pray for the sick sephia who is that her eyes her eyes say her eyes 
Your name is Sophia. How about you, madam? The Lord will locate the person. I'm standing here and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord touching the person God wants me to speak to. All right. I'll pray for all of you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I deliver this lady now. This lady on red. I command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone. For you, it's over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be set free right now. Sophia, the Lord bring liberty. Liberty now. I command those altars to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ the anointing of the Holy Ghost bad luck bad luck I take it out of your life the spirit of I'm seeing a lot of bad luck I take it out of your life now release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there is a lady a physical person appeared to you in the room this is a woman whose face you know like a relative physically where is that person please someone uh, you were not dreaming appeared to you and there was a conversation from that day your life never became this please don't be ashamed i want to pray for you please don't waste our time we have a lot to do the lord is ministering to me someone appeared i'm not saying you were in a dream this thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical who is that person i want to pray for you please when you find that person let the person come quickly who is Ola? i'm hearing a name Ola. Ola. i don't know if that's the full name but there's Ola. o-l-a there's someone with that name Ola. please don't come out if it's not your name who is this huh your name is Allah. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Rejoice. Breakthrough has come to your family. This lady. I'm, I'm Kai. Look at the evil and the witchcraft I see over this lady's family. All these people are, please help me find out. Why are they here? All of them, their names are Allah. Interesting. Come. That lady with cap. Come. Your salvation has come. Come. This lady with, lift your hands. Over now over now over now calm down madam come i'm seeing what happened yes a woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be able physical physically are you seeing what i'm saying look at this when was that last year may she appeared face to face and tell me it shall never will be able to no matter how whatever you take that you are not feeling fine the medicine will not work. And from that, hold on. From that day, something started moving in your body. Yes, it will move and come to your back and come to your chest area. Look at this. Are, are you seeing a swelling here? You are seeing this? A woman appears to her. I prophesy to someone here. Jakas koto parakatia. Empre keto sobataria talikata. Anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life i curse those people now i curse those people now i curse those people now by the anointing of the holy ghost madam i deliver you now in the name of jesus christ be set free now in the name of jesus the living and the dead don't have anything in common in the name of jesus the lord is speaking to me there are some of you all you see is dead people all you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people i'm prophesying lift your hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now in the name of jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the holy ghost i command a separation now the spirit of hades i speak to you the spirit of Hades, Christ has triumphed over you. Oh, death, take away your sting. Take away your sting.
Hallelujah. There are a number of you here. I presume you are all Ola, including this gentleman on wheelchair. That's your son. That's your brother. What happened to him? What happened to him? Accident. Since when? 2015. And he paralyzed you. You can't move now. Oh dear. We are going to pray for the sick. But I want to pray for Ola now. Just, just stand. Bring for me the person. I'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now. Aside from this lady, there is, there is an anointing coming on one of you. Let me speak to that one person right now. I'm seeing a closed door. This is someone's destiny. It looks like I'm holding the air, but I'm seeing that I'm holding a padlock in the spirit. Whose destiny is that? Among these people standing. Open, 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 open now. I command that destiny. Open. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You came alone? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't worry, I'll pray for the sick, sir. If, I'm, if I don't talk, are you a last, sir? No, don't, don't come out until I ask you. This is witchcraft. You would have died since last year, June. Yes, yes sir. It's God that kept you. I will pray for you. I've seen your case already. If I don't pray for you, in three months, you will not be walking again. This is stroke. What is wrong with you? Yes, sir. All my body. This is what I'm saying. I'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again. We have to pray. This is witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Come, my dear, this lady. I'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical, in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing an old woman. Hold my hands. What fellowship. The exchangers of destiny. I hold the hands of this lady. And I declare right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be a restoration. A very beautiful girl in the physical. But I'm seeing the face of an old woman. Be free now. In the name of Jesus. I command the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life. I command that your destiny be restored. Your destiny be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you standing here. My, my brother, this gentleman, come. What's your name? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a printer, sir. You are a what? Printer, printer. Nothing is working in your life. I need to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I break this embargo I see upon your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This row, I'm seeing deliverance. Chicken feather. That's what I'm seeing. Chicken feather. This is an ordinance over a family. Just this row. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Kabaroko to sobaria talikata. Jakas ke barika to siyanapata. Let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Mama, I know that it's not time to pray, but I want to pray for you. Please come, madam. You came alone. Let her come. You came alone. Yes, so one of my say, son friend brought me here. When you are talking, everything you say is just about as if you are. Where, where did you together. come from? I come from uh, Samaru. From of, Samaru. Um, Basawa. No problem, Mama. Yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've Thank seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The suffering. The suffering. The sorrow. The in my life, in my life must, end. must end. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I will eat. I will eat the fruit of my labor. The fruit of my labor. Father, by her confession, Amen. let her be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that captivity is over. I pray for all of you now. In the name of Jesus, my dear, don't be embarrassed. Eh? Be careful with men. Come. I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people, but be careful. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. The deception and the wickedness 
of evil doers i pray for you now every captivity in our last family whether male or female as i stretch my hands over you i command that it leaves you now it leaves your family now i say it again it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of jesus for the last time now an anointing will come on you it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of jesus christ god bless you please go back to your seat go back to your seat go back to your seat hallelujah now lift your hands everybody gentlemen when it's time to pray for the sick we'll pray for you huh? just be patient please help him so that he doesn't strain himself all of you lift your hands one scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now why are you here my dear you are with him oh is your daddy what okay since then there is something that's been working on his body like you had an snake. accident yes sir okay and what happened and since then something has been working on his body on his stomach like snake at times the thing will are you seeing what i'm saying so it was never about accident you see accident was just the condition that made this happen i saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again but the lord would destroy it eh? just be patient we want to pray now let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray exodus chapter 15 quickly please 6 to 11 exodus 15 we're going to do a quick walk we need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families thy right hand O lord is become glorious in power thy right hand O lord has dashed into pieces the enemy next verse to 11 and in the greatness of thy excellency thou has overthrown them that rose up against thee thou sentest forth thy wrath which consumed them as stubble and with the blast of thy nostrils the waters were gathered together the flood stood up right as an heap and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea to 11 the enemy said i will pursue i will overtake i will divide the spoil my lust shall be satisfied upon them i will draw up my sword my hand shall destroy them next verse thou didst blow with thy wind and the sea covered them they sank as lead in the mighty water who is like unto thee O god among the gods who is like unto thee glorious in holiness comma fearful in praises doing not delivering doing wonders that's what you're about to see now lift your hands he said i will pursue i will overtake my lust my desire will fall upon the people of god i want to pray listen deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down is 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 bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a pattern a separation the bible says the river separated teeth and hither separation to allow you move i want to pray are you ready now remember that after they moved the seventh time it was a shout the healer a shout not just any shout a shout that was sent like a word and the bible says the walls of jericho fell down flat that shout is what you are about to do but let me issue a command in the spirit in the name of jesus christ the one whom i serve and whose i am in the name of jesus i declare over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of god's people as they shout this shout wherever they are i command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding i command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout jesus at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus i command that fire to fall every power every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment 
every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment go now go now go now every enchantment paparakato soto preketelekata every enchantment every enchantment be free now hold on hallelujah i usually don't do this until i'm directed hallelujah i usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right i just want to pass through you don't have to touch me except it is not god that has called this meeting if there is a force and a spirit it must be exposed as i pass you in the name of jesus thank you father i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the holy ghost every power every force every power every force every power every force you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ In the name of Jesus Christ those of you outside lift your hands lift your hands I'm going to pass here right now the anointing of the Spirit is going to begin to come upon you are you ready now thank you Jesus you don't have to touch me just just allow me pass be careful be careful father in Jesus name let it be over now there is fire now that fire is moving all across now in the name of Jesus ordinances be broken now I'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are in the name of Jesus let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now be free now let it be over now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ be free now in the name of Jesus as I'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the spirit of the lord is telling me to stand here right now in jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place I want to pray for you i'm standing here my god look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three shake it be free now be free now in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now be free now help them be free now lift your hands overflow three i'm praying for you are you ready to shout jesus again there are many of you you try to move forward but the force keeps holding you as you shout jesus now you're going to see something leave you are you ready father all those who have been held captive, i declare that as they shout jesus let your fire of deliverance come upon them one two three i release you now i release you now I release you now go forward i release you now delay broken i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen i'm going to pray for everybody 
but the lord is saying there are some of you here the call of god is upon your life but there are altars fighting you i'm about to release you oh god i'm seeing 17 one seven where are they oh god right now to the back where are they they have the call of god but an altar of darkness tying down their lives Mata soto kata. be free now hallelujah i'm going to pray for you look up please there are 11 of you the lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family and the anointing that anointing of that joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people lord where are they to the back right to the back that anointing a destiny is rising no even if you are the last born i decree and declare let that anointing find you now let that anointing find you now the joseph anointing the joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren hallelujah please lift your hands overflow three it's not about falling down although there are several things happening here but i want you to just focus the last prayer i want to pray for you many of you will be surprised what happens to you listen i'm seeing keys like a key that was missing some of you were once you were destined for certain things and the devil veered off your life and as it is right now the treasure that god gave you you have lost it as i pray for you that restoration anointing is coming upon you some of you is anointings some of you is business connections lord where are they at the count of three let that fire come shout jesus at the count of three one two three receive that grace now restoration fire 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 shake up butter please open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray great grace great grace great grace great grace new season, new season. mama look at me it's over over forever over 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 it's going to use you the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ please everyone pray in the spirit. everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit Overflow one, pray in the spirit. Shala barokatosi ana malakashi. Shapra katu celebrate tipli alama. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Overflow one, I want to minister to you now. Listen, please, I want you to believe everything. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands, all of you. There are some of you here. As I'm looking, I'm just seeing chains. I want to pray at the count of three i didn't come to waste your time right now that chain is going to leave people now anyone here under the sound of my voice and there is a chain of darkness overflow one i declare at the count of three right now let that chain be broken one two three i command that chain be broken now help them please be broken now to the back shakasko pariata zato secretary akata be broken broken fire is coming i'm seeing fire moving across the crowd in the name of jesus christ i break every force every yoke of darkness 
Hallelujah. Are you pregnant? Come. I'm seeing an evil spirit. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. By the anointing of the spirit. I release the destiny of this baby. You will not lose this baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. This lady. This lady praying in tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace. For dreams and visions. The Lord is releasing it upon you. Great for dreams and visions. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to walk across this crowd. Please. I just want you to release your faith. Release your faith and receive something now. As I walk through. I'm seeing altars. And they are living right now. Thank you Jesus. Father. Let there be deliverance right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let that fire. As I move. Oh God. Let the angel of your presence move. Let there be deliverance. It is over. That's what the Lord says to you. Over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over. 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 Shabbos kata. Sheketes kalabra katoziata kata. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It is over. Please believe. As I'm passing you, don't, don't worry. The anointing of God will locate you. Over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be over now. Now, over your life. Let it be over. I'm seeing fire moving here like this. Who is that fire for? In Jesus' name, I stretch my hands. Let there be deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Mama, be free. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural deliverance. Um, I'm seeing a circle here. And the Lord is saying, restoration of ministerial anointing. A circle. Lord, where are they? There are people here, at least four of you. I stretch my hands. Let the anointing locate you. The call for ministry. The call for ministry. The call. Parakato sedekatoshia. Enter. Enter that level. That's what I hear in the spirit. Enter. Enter that dimension. Enter that dimension. Enter that dimension. Enter that dimension in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is, is it victory or Victoria? I'm hearing a name it's like a victory or Victoria. Who is that? Please very quickly want to pray for the sick now. It's like you are wearing something like blue. Blue. Who is that person? What's your name, madam? Yes, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. You've been coming. Madam, look at me. God is going to change your story completely. Amen. I don't know you, but yes. the Lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Hold my hands. Look at me. There is bad luck on your life, my dear. Good things come, but they never stay. And the Lord is saying to take it away right now. Be free. In the name of Jesus, I take away that spirit from your life. I set you free to move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can we go in? Who is Victoria? All the victories of Victoria be made free right now in Jesus' name. Can we go in from here? Please, everyone, open your mouth and begin to pray. Prophesy. Say, in the name of Jesus, I'm breaking forth spiritually. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new level for me. It's a new level for me. Enter a new dimension. Enter a new dimension now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I'm passing here now. There is an anointing. Move, move to the next level. I'm prophesying to everybody standing here within the vicinity of this anointing. Step into a new dimension. I release that grace now. I release that grace now. I stretch my hands. Everything that has held you down, let it leave you now. In the name of Jesus. My God, look at this. Are you seeing the legs are rotting completely in the name of Jesus be free now I command be free now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ look at me my dear go home and write it good news comes for me in 12 days Lord lose their destinies 
I'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing. Let the destiny be open now. Open now. Shaba Sokos Kaliata. Embreketo Sasikete Likata. Jekros Kadabalako Tesiyanabahasia. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing here and I'm hearing. I have called you. Accept my call. Accept my call. Accept my call. Accept my call. My call is upon your life. My call is upon your life. Stop fighting. My call is upon your life. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. My call is upon your life. Accept my call. My call is upon your life. My mandate is upon your life. My mandate is upon your life. That's what God is speaking. My mandate is upon your life. You cannot fight it. It's an ordinance decided from heaven. My mandate is upon your life. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Pastor Lawrence, speed, come. Where is, where is your wife to be? Come, come, two of you. I see a grace for speed. Lift your hands. Enter that dimension now. I release that grace. Speed to your life. The Lord is taking away delay. Go and mark it. You are entering a strange level. I see you climbing a ladder. And the Lord is saying it's time for your glory. It's time for your glory. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Collect that child quickly from Kenny. Collect that child. Speed. That grace. Collect that child. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing that grace. A new dimension of speed. Coming upon your life. A new level of speed. Coming upon your life. A new level of speed. Hallelujah. Ejimi, I'm seeing something for you. I'm seeing, please stand up. I'm seeing a bottle of oil and I'm seeing dollars. A bottle of oil and dollars. These two dimensions. The spirit and supernatural resources. That grace. The Lord is multiplying it. I'm seeing a bottle. A bottle of oil. A bottle of oil. The Lord is giving you a voice. Not only in the area of finances. But a strange demonstration of the spirit. Please be patient. We are going to pray for the sick. But tonight, I, I perceive God is doing something strange. Young man, come. Come. You and this guy. Two of you, come. Stand. Step into a new dimension. New dimension. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. This guy, just lift your hands where you are. Come. Enter a new level in the spirit. I release that grace now upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm looking at people. And I'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat. And the Lord is saying, is the spirit of prophecy. Lord, I'm declaring right now. It's happening to people right now. It will come upon you like a mantle. Prophecy. 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 From your belly. From your belly. Prophecy. I command those rivers. Makato sakata rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ this lady come you come quickly there is a grace the call of god is upon your life enter that dimension of his grace may the lord give you visitations 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 I bring you out of the cage that I see you in. I bring you out of the cage. I bring you out of the cage. I see you inside a cage. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus, by fire, I bring you out. I bring you out. Ancestry will not fight you. I bring you out of the cage. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. We are soon going to pray for the sick. Where's, where's your wife? Where is she? The Lord is saying the powers will fight no more. Come. The powers will fight no more. 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 There are ordinances fighting this family. I see it in the spirit. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus, victory is established. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus. And he's stepping to a new level of the prophetic that has always been there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shalabarakatos. This usher lady. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to see things before they happen. That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. God is putting something in your eyes. You will see things. Shata Sotosha. Marikatos Kubariakata. You will see things before they happen. In the name of Jesus. With precision. With precision. And with accuracy. With precision. With precision. With precision. And with accuracy. When are these people that just married? This lady in welfare. Where is she now? You and your wife. Where are they? She's not around. Stand up. Let me pray for you on her behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for your mother. Let the Lord perfect her. But I'm praying for you. Something wants to take finances off your life. If I don't pray for you, I see great suffering in the days coming. It's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet. But I cancel it right now. By the anointing of the holy spirit i cancel it right now in the name of jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of jesus christ a new level a new level in the name of jesus christ wato where is she is she here I'm seeing a flag being raised up and the Lord is saying it's a new season. I'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit. The Lord is announcing you. I'm declaring, let that anointing come upon you. A new season. Let that flag be raised. In the name of Jesus, let that flag be raised. You will never, never be down. Let that flag be raised. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're going to pray for the sick. Let's just flow. God, you know, sometimes this is, this lady, you, come. Yes. Say for my shame. Say it for my shame. I receive double. The Lord is taking me to a new level and I receive it. I lay my hands upon you. In the name of Jesus, the grace for a new level. Is released upon you right now I command it so I declare it so in Jesus name I pray this gentleman you come confusion ends now in your life I lay my hands upon you I command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of Jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ confusion ends over your life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing I will, I will prophesy generally but I'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I'm, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but I'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify i don't care whether the resources are there or not i stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of jesus christ let that anointing by the spirit 
make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of jesus make it happen cameraman come i want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in amen you believe what i'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension of favor in the name of jesus christ this lady you come the lord is saying i'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach i lay my hands upon you i'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through i command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of jesus christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, i'm in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already please quickly you're sick in your body come quickly stand if the people cannot move just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh, god will grant grace pastor lawrence come you will join them today when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you hallelujah father in the name of jesus by the corporate anointing we pray these people have come expecting to be healed expecting to be touched i pray that your anointing will visit them right now in the name of jesus overflow one overflow two overflow three let there be a release of the corporate grace right now in the name of jesus christ we're free now in the name of jesus christ and what's wrong with you my dear Huh? fracture where how long where is the leg it can't move and your hand don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please walk help this lady miracle, jesus. in the name of jesus walk my miracle here i release today. that anointing upon you right walk now my miracle, i correct your jesus. body now hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah Please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit. If they are still praying for you outside, just, just continue. Please, if your request is yet to come here, you can quickly wave it, wave it, and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly. Stretch your hands, stretch your hands. By faith, believing that God will visit you. Don't, don't stretch your hands out of unbelief. If there are requests here to come, please let them come here quickly. Please bring them quickly. Shabakato soprakato baladabash. Unto you that answers prayers, O God, shall all flesh come. Rakato sodo brendege barakato shabradiski labaria. Endakato sata prakato jalabaria kato brendege degodos. Please pray. You are praying in the spirit. You are connecting. Lord, we are believing that we will not have to write this again. Be serious about it. Make sure you are connected by faith. Shakatoka parakatoba rikata sipriada balaraba. 
Lord, arise in majesty. Arise in your power. Visit the case of people. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jata prakato barakato barigete kete shelekete pranda kata barakatos eketo kaparuka tapariata ba Lord let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus Christ let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus let this be the last time shapa kata pakata 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 ente keto rakato shada pragada balada ba Lord we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Hallelujah. 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 Please respond with a resounding amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, this is not a ritual. I stand on behalf of your people. Lord, these requests represent different dimensions of demonic Jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny. Father, as I step upon this, let this be symbolic of the ark going around Jericho. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen, you're going to shout jesus we're going to shout jesus seven times are we together as a prophetic act over this i'm going to guide you and you will shout it for every one shout let it represent one day going around jericho that at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act and oh god i stand leading your people as we shout that name the name of our high priest who has been exalted above the ironic priesthood above any kind of priesthood are you ready now i'll call the number and you shout jesus are you ready number one Number two. Jesus. Crumbling every mountain. Number three. Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba. I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Number five. Jesus. Number six. Jesus. I put an anointing on this seventh shout. Let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Number seven. Jesus. I decree and declare unto you prepare for strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ some of you even before you get to your homes or where you came from you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift your hands let's take the prophecy and then we'll Every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life shame and reproach some of you is a pattern across your family members in the name of Jesus Christ I command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever Hallelujah. I release over your life 
supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life hallelujah i decree and declare that every garment he saw joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck attracting all kinds of things the bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i tear off that garment from your life i tear off that garment from your life garment of reproach i tear it off from your life i tear it off from your life in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare divine direction lord what do i do where do i go to tonight by dreams and visions and strange encounters i provoke divine direction to come to your direction in the name of jesus christ master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of jesus christ every door that has refused to open your parents tried it refused to open the bible says lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted O ye not doors ancient doors i come against every ancient door and every gate swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus every helper that must arise tonight not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by god to rise up and come to your aid i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of jesus i direct their eyes to you i say it again whoever has what it takes to help you i direct their hearts to you the same mystery that bound jonathan and david i declare wherever your helper is let it be as it were for jonathan and david in the name of jesus christ all those in ministry here i prophesy to you a strange unction upon the work on your hands step into a new direction step into a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will god deliver us i declare that your weeping has endured enough i prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of jesus christ those writing exams let the mercy of god the mercy that helped those who went before you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you hallelujah there are people here you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry it's not like you don't love god but revelations they don't come as they used to come again sometimes you open your bible you cannot even read to pray you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of jesus christ i launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter the lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message there are some of us the devil has cheated us 
by allowing our prayer altar go down in the name of Jesus tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life every wrong friend in your life whether you want them to go or not in the name of Jesus for the sake of God's hand upon your life I separate you with them forever this night I separate you with them forever time wasters destiny wasters I cause a separation between you and them forever we're rounding up some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness the bible says a lazy hand a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor i will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ even if you have seen favor in your life by the grace of god i release you to a new order of favor a new order of favor a new order of favor favor is not when you have money favor is when men arise by god to meet your needs if you have money and men don't come to your life you are not favored you are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of god have been achieved i call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of jesus christ I don't know what personal request you desire from God but I release my faith with you and I declare that by miracle service may you will only return rejoicing over that issue in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here trusting God for a good job not just a job that you look like a slave a job with honor in the name of Jesus I agree with you between now and next miracle service may god bless you with a job that will launch you to a new dimension everyone in business here the god factor the favor factor the help factor the ebenezer factor i release it upon your business i release it upon your field of endeavor in the name of jesus christ the Bible says, where thou hast been rejected so that no man will pass through you. It says, I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. I decree and declare, may your gates be continually open. Now, I want to pray a prayer that may be very strange for some of us. I want to pray that somebody will give you money. Listen hold on listen we are not money mongers this is not some carnal thing there are some of you this is what you need you don't need advice you don't need counseling you just need help straight help i pray for you you will be surprised it will look like a dream i pray for you not a helper not access thank god for it but a helper that will come with the financial resource to help you i stretch my hands and i release it upon you in the name of jesus christ the anointing for miracles help that guy the anointing for signs the anointing for wonders whether you are called in ministry or not in the name of jesus may you carry it in your spirit From today, 
begin to reproduce a new order of signs and wonders and finally i pray for you whatever needs to be done for your family members to rejoice in the lord between now and the next 30 days whatever needs to be shaken whatever needs to be overturned in the name of jesus christ joy for your family members joy to your family members in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ and for every for every worker here in the name of jesus christ after tonight rise with a new level of evidence become a testament not just a testament of a believer in christ but a testament that you belong to this spiritual family the grace to prove it let it be released upon you in the name of jesus whoever fights you may he find himself fighting himself whoever fights your family may they fight themselves they will point the knife at you and hurt themselves in the name of jesus christ In the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain